pleasant Monday and welcome to episode number six of Motivational Monday. Today we are going to be dealing with a not so fun topic and that topic is failure. Yes, failure. None of us likes to fail, but at the end of the day, failure, in my opinion, is inevitable. There is, there will be at some point in time in your life, something that you wanted to work out that just didn't work out. It is part of being human. The thing I think is most important is our attitude towards it and how we recover from that failure. And so today we would not be discussing or we will not be focusing on the failure itself, but we would be focus, focusing on what we can do that can help us to move on from that failure. And there are three things that we will be highlighting today. The first of which is to give ourselves some time to be disappointed. Again, number one is that you should give yourself some time to be disappointed. The fact is that you would have invested your time, your energy, and in so many cases, hard earned money into ideas that just didn't work out. And it is kind of unrealistic to expect yourself to just move on from it because you would have been invested in it. Part of that idea or that endeavor would have become part of you. So give yourself some time to grieve that idea. For me, I would say I would take a day or two and really allow myself to be sad to get rid of that emotion. So I say to give yourself some time, whatever your time frame is, do it as it best feeds, fits you. The only thing I would not advocate is self-pity and for you to be wallowing in disappointment. No. Do not make that time frame six months or a year. Give yourself a realistic time to grieve. And after you have done that, move on to step number two. And step number two is to reevaluate what you did and see what you can learn from it. So that when you move on to your next idea, which you will be moving on to, when you move on to your next idea, you will have learned from whatever mistakes you made at that time. So go about re-evaluating whatever steps from beginning to end set. And if you have to take a pen and some paper, whatever you have to do to write down so that you could remember what you did. If you have to take out your phone, I know our phones are savvy nowadays, so get on your memo pad and write down whatever you think you should be held accountable for and learn from your mistakes. Failure can serve a very good purpose on this journey. It can show us things that we need to work on. And so it would be kind of sad if you fail at something and didn't take the time off to see what you could do to make yourself a better person, to better equip you when you are moving in to another phase in life. So after you would have grieved, after your time frame would have up, been up, um, take some time out to reevaluate yourself, reevaluate your actions and learn whatever lessons there is to learn. And I believe that final step, which is, which is which I am going to highlight now, is the most important step when we are dealing with failure. And that final step is to move on with a vengeance. Hold nothing but that lesson from your failure. Do not hold on to regret. Do not hold on to resentment. Deal with all of that in your disappointment stage. But when you are moving on, when you are here, move on with a vengeance. Do not let anything tie you to that failure. You would have learned your lesson. So all you can do now is move on to your next idea being a better, bigger, more confident person. 
it is okay. <laughs> we would cry sometimes. But at the end of the day, failure will never, ever, ever cripple us. That is what we have to say to ourselves. I will fail. I okay. I I would have failed, but I have learned. I learned my lesson, and now I am moving on with a vengeance. So I pray that our ideas um, grow into all that we want them to be, and I pray that this week would be a productive week. That you are, would be happy. I am Grenadian people, and may God bless us each and every one of us this week.